Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and today I'm not going to review a fountain pen for you. Instead, what I want to share with you is a tool that is in my toolbox all the time. I have used these longer than I have used fountain pens and have never uh, had a time in my life when I was without them. Now, what would be so handy that I would keep it around for nearly 50 years? Well, you know, in the fountain pen community, we are spoiled for choice. We get to choose the resin, we get to choose the material, we get to choose the kind of nib, the, the shape of the nib. You have choices uh, that are just incredible when you combine all those things, and then there's the ink. And different inks for different jobs, different purposes, different moods, and all of those kinds of things. But there still are times, even with all those choices and all those possibilities, where a fountain pen might not be the right tool for the job that that hurt a little you know to the to the hammer the whole world is a nail well you know i, I kind of like to use my fountain pens on everything but i don't there are times when a multi-pen really does the job better and especially now that there are multi-pens that are also mechanical pencils uh, so you have maybe four different inks or three different inks plus a mechanical pencil. So uh, I want to show you why I keep multi-pins all over the place, including, I'm not going to review this, I've done this before, the closest you can get to a fountain multi-pin, which would be the Pen BBS 469. At least I think it's the closest. Someone out there may put something in the comments about a pen I've never heard of. But uh, this is uh, what I go to when I need choices. Maybe I'm making notes in multiple colors. I only want to carry one pen. Maybe I'm, I'm out hunting. This is actually my hunting and fishing pin. Uh, for the Texas hunting license, the easiest thing to write on those tags is a ballpoint, especially in the uh, wet, dry, hot, cold, everything else kind of weather that you encounter when you are out uh, doing those things. So one of these stays in my outdoors uh, backpack. So there you go. Uh, but what do I like to use and why do I like to use them and which one might be the one that you would like the best? Well, let's flip that camera and dive into that. All right, let's take a look first at the pen that is, I think, the granddaddy of them all, the Bic Multi-Pen. And it's appropriate that I say the granddaddy of them all because that's how I came to know this pen, through my grandfather. He had this pen in his pocket my entire childhood. Uh, and not this exact pen. You will, those of you who know this pen very well will know that this little uh, loop so that you can put it on a chain or a lanyard was not there originally. This is a newer addition. But this pen was introduced back in April of 1970, and my grandfather must have been one of the first people in line because when I came along in 71, he already had it nearly worn out. And he, as I said, replaced them and replaced them and replaced them. And I grew up thinking this was the, the pen you know, my grandfather always had it, and I just thought it was awesome. And uh, I had these in elementary school, middle school, junior high, and up. And one of the things that I liked about them was, of course, as I mentioned earlier, choice. We like choices. Now, the colors uh, really were more decided, not by hobbyists or uh, kids who just wanted more choices of colors, but colors that were typically used in business for different things, red for accounting, black and blue for a lot of businesses. These are the standard colors uh, to this day that you're going to use on anything written or signed. Green has some uses in different businesses and uh, civil service and things like that, but uh, they, they all served a purpose, form, follows function. You can now, of course, get this pen with more colors. My daughter has one that is in pastels. Uh, I have one at the office that is pretty much uh, red and black and uh, blue and then purple, I think it is, instead of green. I think it's the green that they replace with purple. Uh, but you can get all different kinds of options. It's been around a long time because this is reliable as the day is long. It is a good, inexpensive, quality multi-pin. But like I say, it has been around a long, long time. When you open up the barrel, you will find that uh, it has a good standard clickable uh, Bic cartridge. And it uh, does its job quite well. I'll show you uh, a comparison of those in the writing test, but you can pull these out and replace them if you need to so that you can keep using the pen until you use the other colors up or just keep 
replacing those, but that is at least a possibility. Frankly, where I live, you're not going to find the refills. You'll have to go online because only the whole pins are sold in stores. But recently, there was an update to the BIC. I was walking through an office supply store, and what did I find? I found a new BIC multi-pin. Now, this is quite a while back, so it wasn't just too, too recent, but they have gone with some of the current trends. So it, it's got a busier styling. It has this uh, kind of a rubbery grip, and it has a clear uh, end here. What, what would be the name for the point of the barrel here? Uh, probably is a term for that. But uh, that's just kind of in keeping with current trends and styles. So it's a little bit busier, but more importantly, it has this. This is, of course, as you can see, an eraser. And what would you need the eraser for but the mechanical pencil? Yes, Bic has uh, gotten on board with those who are putting mechanical pencils in their multi-pens. And my grandfather would be so excited. I, I, maybe this is where I get it. I don't know. But my grandfather would be awfully excited about that. And I'll show you how that writes here in just a moment. Otherwise, it's pretty standard. It is the same uh, ink cartridge that you find in the uh, classic Bic multi-pen. Then uh, along came, and this one looks gross. I'm just going to warn you because it bounced around in my pickup for years, uh, doing all kinds of duty. And the Texas sun has, this is not grease, I promise you, the Texas sun has yellowed the grip on this pen, making it quite unattractive. But this is the Papermate Inkjoy. Now I like, as a ballpoint pen, I like uh, the newer uh, Papermate Inkjoy ink. Uh, the old paper mates were clotty and cloggy, but this, and they were also too thin of a pen for me. Uh, but the new ones, I really do like. And so when I saw it, they had Ink Joy in a multi pen, I grabbed one. A little harder to open up for some reason. I don't know why, but it's really stiff. But these look like they're a little bit shorter and maybe replaceable. Maybe they're not shorter. It may just be that they're further up in there. This may just come down. Uh, but very, very similar to the Bic, except that it is Paper Mates Ink Joy Ink. Other than that, you know, the style's a little bit different, but you're basically getting the Paper Mate version of a Bic multi-pin. Uh, that's, that's what your expectation should be. Next, let's look at the Uniball Jetstream multi-pin, which ups the game quite a bit. A very comfortable ergonomic grip, and it's, it's a good thick grip section there. Uh, it has a little bit higher build quality in the materials. You notice that this is metal. Uh, it has a metal clip, which is also what operates the mechanical pencil because, yes, it does, and comes in really nice uh, this is a metallic blue. I have one in white. My wife has a metallic red. It gives you options that way, and it's, it's a more attractive pen. Uh, you do pay a little bit more for it. It has a little bit more function and uh, better materials and more sturdy. Really, really nice pen, and of course, of course, the Uniball some ink, like what's in a Uniball Signo. So you're getting basically, uh, they don't call it this, but a basically a Uniball Jetstream Signo uh, pen. That, that makes it all kinds of awesome. It does have an eraser, but I will say this is not as handy. Um, you do have to remove the cap just like on the Bic, but it doesn't come off quite as easily. Uh, but it, it totally works, and it is quite secure there. What I really like, though, is the ink. Uh, Uniball just has a great uh, gel pen ink, and so uh, just great choices there. One of the other cool things about it, of course, is that you can re they have more color options. It doesn't have to just be blue, green, and black and red and the pencil. You do have options, and of course you have lead color options for that matter. So you could do all kinds of things, but there's more. There, wait, just wait. There is more. Uh, not only do you have options in terms of the colors of the ink, but also in the sizes. For example, this is a 0.7 millimeter uh, ball in this pen, but uh, I also have one that is a 0.5. There are options that way, and of course, you can mix and match in your refills. If you want two blues, one 0.7 and one that's a 0.5, well, guess what you can do? You've got options, and what did I say at the beginning? We like 
options, but if you really want options, and then there is the Pilot High Tech C Coletto, and if you like to customize, this is your pen. Because not only do you get to choose the colors of the ink and the size of the, the ball, whether it's you know, 0 0.7, 0.5, or possibly others, and not only can you include a pencil, which this has a mechanical pencil just like the other, but this also has a click eraser that is possible. Now that takes this one to a whole other level. You also have choices on how many different uh, pens or pencils or erasers you put in there. I chose four uh, out of uh, habit, I guess. I, that was just all I wanted. I have uh, blue and I have red and then I have the pencil and I have the eraser. And you just open this up at the top and insert those in. It's just as easy as could be. You don't even have to unscrew the thing to put things in. But you have more color choices, I believe, on the Pilot C, High Tech C Coletto than on any of these other pens. And you have uh, choices about, you know, again, the thickness of the line that you want and colors and a pencil and an eraser. But wait, there's more. Uh, this one has four and, you know, of course, it seems like the Uniball uh, Jetstream might beat it with five. But no, because you can get this with five as well. You can also get it with three. You buy the barrel of the pen uh, first, and then you fill it with whatever you want. So everything is quite literally customizable. And this is it doesn't just come in this clear barrel. It comes in choices there as well. So this one, uh, when it comes to choice and when it comes to possibilities, uh, kind of tops the list here. But is it my favorite? Uh, well, why don't we look at how they write and we'll see. But that's probably going to depend on what I'm doing in the moment and the day and the time. But let's, let's do a writing sample of these pens and see how they differ from one another. Okay, so this is the Bic Multi Pen, and I've got, it's going to be the same for both these pens. They write identically, except of course for the addition of the pencil on this newer version. And I think most of us know exactly what we're getting with the Bic. And so, uh, really nice blue, that red uh, is, I think that's what we think of. I, I know for an American student, uh, back in the era when you only used red to grade papers, this is what you saw all through your elementary, junior high, and high school days. We know red all too well. And then the green and the black. I just kind of, I think this is kind of the standard. Big pens are the standard for what is an everyday blue, green, black, and red ink. So, so uh, no new big surprises or revelations there. The pencil, uh, this is a 0.7, and as you can see, it writes a pretty thick line, uh, but it's the this is the lead that came in it, and it is not a real dark uh, lead or graphite. It's it's pretty pretty light. I uh, wrote very smooth. I don't have breakage problems with it because it is a, a thicker uh, lead. So there you go. Uh, but it's certainly handy to have. You got to love being able to have a pencil with you. And that addition to the Bic line, I think, is genius. The only thing, of course, uh, I would like, I would actually like it better if it still looked like the original. But hey, that's just, that's just because sentimental reasons. Doesn't Nothing, nothing practical there. Now let's look at the next one. And that would be the Paper Maiden. I think this ought to be next because if anybody is uh, the rival to Bic, it would be Paper Mate, right? I do notice that their cheaper pens seem to be disappearing from my stores around here, and uh, that's been going on for quite a while. They kind of seem to only stock the ones that are the uh, little bit more expensive, a little bit more specialty Paper Mate pens around here. The old standards are a little harder to find. There you go. Of course, very similar. You will notice, this is what jumps out at me, the blue is just a little bit brighter, the red is just a little bit pinker, the green is a little bit mintier and not as saturated. This looks more like a leaf green. And the black is quite similar, but maybe just 
just a little bit less saturated, but uh, reliable. I like the Inkjoy inks. I'm a fan, and so this pen is is good. It's a if you're more of a paper mate fan than a big fan. I don't know if those kind of lo loyalties are still as big as they used to be. There was a time, uh, the '80s. Some of you, some of you youngins, you know, you weren't even around yet. Uh, but the, believe it or not. There was a there was a thing, kind of like Ford versus Chevy, Toyota versus Honda, Apple versus Windows. There was Bic versus Papermate. You don't hear that much anymore, but it was a thing. Now let's check out a different kind of pen. Okay, now let's take a look at the Uniball Jetstream, and this is a gel pen. Never mind my scribbles; that's none of your business. Uh, <laughs> anyway, somebody was getting all messed up a second ago. What's funny is, I don't know why, but I don't write as well with this pen. It's not the thickness, it's, it's kind of just pens like this in general uh, with this type of a gel thing. I like the ink a whole lot, but I don't write as well. Looks so similar to the other two, doesn't it? Imagine that, red looks like red, how weird. And then the green is even more like a natural, slightly darker, uh, and then the black, which I have to confess, I have not used the black in this bin very often, but slightly less saturated. Let's try the pencil now, and with the pencil, uh, you press down the uh, the clip, and I do wonder, on the clip, because it's, it's a little bit loose, I wonder about the durability of that. Uh, that's just kind of one of those things. And obviously this is not an heirloom pen, but I would like it to last uh, a normal service life. So this is the pencil. And it is also a 0.7 millimeter that I have in this one, but you'll notice it writes quite differently. It's just not as soft a graphite, but it writes quite smoothly. No breakage problems there either. One thing I have found is so many mechanical pencils, it's not the pencil that's badly designed, it's the, the graphite that's included is often uh, a lower quality than aftermarket gra graphite. And so one of the first things I usually do with mechanical pencils is put my own uh, graphite leads in because this uh, the stuff that comes with them is not great, but this is, these are all stock. I haven't changed any in these. Haven't need to. So what else have I got? The Pilot uh, High Tech C Coletto. Not short of names. So let's start with. Well, James is having trouble. What did I do? Start with the click. I can't click today. Mm, Should have done all my clicking off camera. Okay, <laughs> that's that's pretty sad. Isn't it? Pilot. And this is the High Tech C. And I'm just going to put this and move on. That's the blue. This is just a 0.5, and you can see that difference, I think. And then red. I think this is user operation. I really don't know my problem today. And this red, kind of like, I would say it more closely matches the Paper Mate in its, its shade of red. It's lighter than both the Bic and uh, the Uniball. I know you're waiting with bated breath to know about that. And there is no green and there is no black in this particular pen, but they do have green and they do have black. Um, and they have brown. I, I have it in, uh, this is actually a blue-black, and then there's blue, and then there's brown, and there's green and red. Uh, I think I have all of those around here somewhere. And then this is the pencil, which is also a, whoa, I broke it. That's probably me. I think it was a little long sitting out there, but I don't know. Might, might not have been me. It might have been what I was just talking about. Let's, let's try the word graphite and see if I do it again. I don't know. There you go. But uh, that's the pencil. And then since, since we've got one that just clicks down like this, so handy, and because James is full of uh, mistake making today, let me just show you the eraser. And that works. It works like an eraser. Well, wow. Look at that. So this is actually one of my favorites as far as customizability. The only thing you will notice, a little, little bit of rattle in that. If you don't like rattle, let me hold that up to the microphone for you. I know you love me for that now. There is not that with that pen. 
a little bit with the Bic, and only barely a little with the other one. So there you go. All right, size comparison. There is the Hitech C Coletto. Here is, I'm not gonna get those clips to all stay, so let's just knock them all down and have a little bit of Humpty Dumpty falling off the wall. There is the Bic, the standard by which I measure them all, uh, just because, sentimental reasons. Then there is the Uniball Jetstream, possibly uh, the best of the bunch, uh, certainly the nicest of, of the bunch. And then there's the new Bic with mechanical pencil, which, hey, hey, football fans, you, you, see, what, you see what's happening there? Bic. They're Cowboys fans. Did you see that? Okay, Cowboys football. Then you have, if we're going to have a multi-pin in the fountain pen world, you got you got this. And it is, of course, an awesome. It's the nicest of these. But in terms of like actual uh, multi-pins, uh, that would be probably uh, my uh, logical favorite. It is uh, well-made, very comfortable, great options. As far as most options, though, high-tech C. I love how many things you can do with that pen. Just go to, uh, I got mine at uh, Jet Pens. Go there, uh, look it up, and just start looking at all the crazy options that you can get, and then do not blame me for the order that you place and the money that you spend. It's not my problem. My problem is my problem. And then there is the Paper Mate Ink Joy, in case you're a Paper Mate Ink Joy fan, and I promise yours will not be as uh, sunburned as mine is. That comes from leaving it in a 100 degree car on, you know, on the console for months. So there you go. And share in the comments, uh, what is your favorite multi-pen? What colors do you put in yours if you have a custom thing? Maybe you got a setup that the rest of us would say, hey, I hadn't thought about that. Maybe that combination would work for me. And then, and then, uh, I want to thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for the input that you share in all the comments. Uh, things that uh, you like, things that you would improve. It's all good. I like it all. So God bless you. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.